Welcome to your Go Market Updating Charts of the Day for today, the 15th of February 2024. Mike Smith, seen Analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Let's check out the news. Of course, overnight we saw a strong session in the US with buy-in returning into equities after the previous day's drop, with earnings still positive and despite the Fed worries that were precipitated by that hot CPI number. We suggested yesterday that there may be some buying into the dip, uh, and that indeed appears to be what is happening. US futures, however, are a little flat in Asia in early trading. Uh, Asian markets, however, have responded positively to that strong US lead and rebounded from yesterday, selling the ASX, which was down around about 0.7% yesterday, has almost regained all of those losses in today's session, though materials sector is a surprising laggard. Tech sector is doing very well. European equity futures are pointing to a positive open this afternoon as European markets closed towards the lows of the US session last night. And the US dollar index has pulled back after surging to three month highs after that CPI number. Gold hasn't moved, it's sitting just below that 2000 level in a very tight range. Uh, so not recovering really from that drop earlier in the week. Copper is holding 367 support, is slightly higher in Asia today so far. And oil has pulled down from that 200 MA after having a strong early part of the week. One of the big stories of the week is Bitcoin. It's pushed through that 50,000 with apparent ease. Now sitting in Asian trading around about 52. Though we are noticing a little bit of a softness as the Asian session continues, which may be some profit taken in light of that significant move to the upside. A bit of risk coming off the table, perhaps. Earnings will continue to influence sentiment. On the data front, we've seen Japanese GDP fall short of expectations. Despite that, we're seeing the yen really quite strong today. However, the Aussie is weak on the back of some soft jobs data and no change in inflation expectations. We have got significant data out later with UK GDP. And as we move into the evening, US retail sales, weekly jobs and manufacturing data for the markets to digest. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. On the ASX, our chart of the day yesterday was seven group holdings, and you can see there we've pushed even higher today. Another move of in excess of 4%, uh, subsequent to better than expected earnings. We're now at 40.50. We've got a $50 price target on this in the medium term, but even in the short term, a move up to $45 looks possible. In the FX market, with the Aussie dollar looking a little weak, we've identified a chart involving that you can see the euro aussie here and this double bottom formation this big candle up after that soft jobs data came out but we've failed to breach this 165.56 level which looks technically important this looks like a relatively high probability trade as we've seen this come straight down and straight up in the last uh, and exactly the same at this point here straight down straight up so it would suggest that if we do get a breach of this then we could get a fairly high probability move of around about 25 pips to the upside it could be a nice scalping trade to consider in the medium term as the day progresses then perhaps that 166 level is a potential target trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now